Hey guys, Ivan here, and in this video we got a couple of really interesting bodybuilding updates. As you can see, we're gonna start with a physique update of nobody else but Big Ramy. That's right. Big Ramy finally posted a physique update. Finally, we can see what his physique looks like. You guys remember that he said that he isn't done, that he just decided to skip the Mr. Olympia 2023 and that he is gonna come back and compete again in 2024, next year. So finally, we got a physique update and let's check this video that he posted on his stories. So first, we got a side chest pose and as you can see, he is big, he is full, he is very round. The conditioning is looking very good. Now he's about to hit the most muscular as well. Check out the delts, the arms, the chest, like the pop of the physique, like he's big and full and round. But what I'm trying to pay attention the most to are the issues that were present on both Arnold Classic and Mr. Olympia stage. And I'm trying to see if he improves those, if those issues are no longer present, if it was something fixable. Did the stem cell treatment actually do something? Did it help? Or maybe the time off? Well, let's take a look at his pose, for example. So side chest, uh, let's take a look at the arms. So that was a big flaw, a big, a big issue with Big Ramy. His arms weren't as big, as full, as round as they were before when he was winning. So in the side chest right here, he actually looks good. Like, he looks fresh. I mean, the arms are there. The biceps are looking pretty full. The triceps are looking fuller. They don't look as shortened as they seem last time we saw him. The chest also looks good, the shoulders are there, waist looks good, nice and small. We can see what is going on with his quads, are those dents still there and are those bumps on his glutes still present? And we cannot see his back, but here in the side chest, I mean, I think he looks better, I think he does look fuller. But do I think he is completely recovered? Do I think he is back to what he was when he was at his best? No, I don't think so. And I'm saying I don't think so because it's really hard to say based on this video. Because even before the 2022 Mr. Olympia, he was he looked like he was gonna win the Mr. Olympia again. You know, nobody saw what was coming. Nobody noticed it. And they were posting current physique updates. But it was really hard to see it. Unless he is completely in condition and on stage, it's really hard to notice that he is not perfect. Now here in the most muscular, a great pose for Big Remy, he looks good. Like he looks really massive, really impressive. I mean, look at the size of those freaking shoulders, the width, it's crazy. Like he looks enormous, he looks really big. The arms also are looking really big, really full. The chest is looking great. The midsection is looking amazing. So I can't say that he looks off. He looks good, he definitely looks amazing. But I just doubt that he can, you know, bring back what was lost. I don't think it was something that can be fixed with stem cell treatment. I think it's simply the age. And he can bring it back a little bit. I think he improved a lot from Mr. Olympia to Arnold Classic, where he placed fourth last year. But can he bring the same physique that he was bringing when he was younger? Can he be as fresh I don't think so. I don't believe so. Even though this physique update looks amazing, I just don't see him coming back and looking better than ever and like winning the Honor Classic. I think those days are behind him. I don't see him beating Samson Dauda ever again. Once again, in this physique update, it's really hard to notice that anything is wrong with his physique. But like I said, it was impossible to notice it even before the 22 Mr. Olympia. However, now, if you pay close attention, you will see that his triceps are looking flatter than they looked before 2022. Also the biceps. I mean, he looks insane right here. This is looking really good. And I probably do have him in my top 2, top 3 at the Arnold Classic if he does it. I believe that's what he's preparing for. But can he win the whole thing, beat Samson, you know, come back that strong? I mean, it's not impossible. But I don't think it's likely. Now, back at the Arnold Classic, a lot of people felt like he was overlooked, potentially punished for placing that low at a Mr. Olympia, or maybe for not showing up at a Pittsburgh Pro guest posing, I don't know. But a lot of people felt like he was overlooked, that he did his homework, that he was more conditioned, improved, even bigger than a Mr. Olympia with much better conditioning, and I can see that, I think that is something that happened, but wasn't enough, in my opinion, it wasn't. 
And this photo tells you everything you need to know to understand why he placed uh, fourth, why he wasn't in that top three at the Arnold Classic. Maybe it doesn't tell you everything, but it tells you enough because there is more from behind. But in the front last spread right here, you can see that his quads melted away. They didn't look symmetrical. Uh, the calves also same issue arms you can see right here because you're gonna compare this this is actually front lat spread but it's very similar to his most muscular and you can see right here exactly what is happening with his arms you know biceps triceps and forearms they seemed like they have melted it was worse at a mr olympia but here his peak was fine you know he was big and full and more conditioned so it wasn't as visible but it was still visible quite a bit and it's much harder to notice it now when he is in his off season, when he is pumped under this great uh, change room lighting. But you can see it in the transitions uh, before he hits the poses. You can see it in his arms. Whatever injuries happen, they are still visible. So I don't think we're gonna see you know fully recovered, fresh version of Big Remy. We're gonna see something probably improved from the last time. But improved enough to win the Arnold Classic, to dominate, to look his absolute best, to win the Mr. Olympia again? I don't think so, but can he still be in the top somewhere, in the top six in the world, somewhere around there? Sure, sure, that's probably possible. Whatever you guys think, tell me down below. Alright, next we got another comeback. That's right, another comeback from William Bonek. And I believe this guy is also preparing for the Arnold Classic. What else would he be preparing for? I mean, he won the Arnold Classic, I think, two times. So he posted this, this physique update, and he does look very good. And he says, first day physique update, I'm back into preparation for 2024 season. We got a posing video, we're gonna play it in a moment. But basically what he says right here is that he still hasn't decided which shows he's gonna do. But I believe Arnold Classic is gonna be one of those shows. Now here, as you can see, he looks good. For somebody who took a break for that long, he actually looks really good. And if he is completely recovered and refreshed mentally, then this can be a dangerous bodybuilder everybody should look out for. I mean, he won the Arnold Classic once again two times already. He was top three at the Mr. Olympia for who knows how many times. And once again, at this point, I mean, this is definitely not the best William Bonac ever, but his prep just started. It just started now. So he has 12 more weeks until the Arnold Classic to get in the best shape of his life. I mean, are his best days behind him? His placements are showing that, but I don't know. I don't think so, because I don't see any big flaws with his physique. I think it's basically mostly all about uh, him peaking right, getting as conditioned and like as full, as big as possible. And I think he's still fresh enough, still doesn't have many injuries, still can look his absolute best. Now, is that a likely scenario? Like for him to win the Arnold Classic, to beat Samson Dauda or Andrew Jack or whoever does the show, Hari Japan? You know, it's not very likely to happen, but is it possible? I mean, sure, sure, I guess it's possible, but I wouldn't bet on it. I don't think I can see him being one of the top guys again in this lineup today against guys like Nick Walker, Samson Dauda, Haider Chopin, the way he's looking these days, Andrew Jack and everybody else, Brandon Curry. So I doubt he's going to come back and look his absolute best. But once again, if he is looking like this right now after having a longer break, and if he's refreshed, I mean, his receptors are fresh and he's mentally refreshed and he's ready to put in all the work and try his absolute hardest, then, you know, anything is possible. We'll see. It's going to be definitely an interesting year. Do you guys recognize whose back this is? It's a really big back, actually. It's a really thick and wide back. And yeah, you guessed it right. It is Urs Kalicinski. So his back came up a lot. You know, guys, it was a weak point for him not so long ago. It's crazy how much progress this guy actually made while staying within the classic physique weight limit. His back used to be a weak point, but I would not call it that. Not anymore. Not by a long shot. I mean, look at his back right now. It's actually really freaking impressive. And also, he's maintaining really good conditioning throughout the entire year. 
So, I mean, look at this right now. Uh, it's it's crazy. It's really big. It's really good. He improved it so much and he speaks often about this. He says that it's all about training. He figured out how to actually contract, how to engage that back uh, when he's training it. And now it's apparently flourishing. It's actually getting a really good, really big, really thick. And like he says here in the caption, uh, his Christmas tree is already up. So once again, his conditioning is spot on. And he also talked about this, why he's maintaining such a good conditioning. It's because he's at the weight cap. He can't let himself get as big as he wants to. He actually Last year, he got really big. He was like almost 280 in the offseason. And it was a lean 280. And he says that he was hungry during the entire offseason, meaning he didn't eat that much. He actually didn't eat a lot. He ate a little bit more than now, and uh, he still grew a lot. So I think this body, his body wants to grow, like, to the open division. You know, it could grow that big if he wanted to. It definitely could. If he can grow that fast, you know, without a, a long off-season, without a proper off-season, while simply not eating a lot and staying hungry from show to show, competing multiple times during the year... What does that mean? How is he growing? It could be a myostatin deficiency. Like, for example, Flex Wheeler used to have it, and I'm sure many other bodybuilders as well. So, I think Urs Kletzinski could do the Open very easily. I think he has the potential to get that big. But as for now, he has no aspirations to go that route. But maybe someday? Who knows? It's gonna be interesting to see. Anyways, guys, tell me what do you think in the comment section down below. Like this video if you enjoyed it. And for more bodybuilding videos like this, Subscribe to my channel, guys. Thank you so much for watching. See you soon. All the best and bye-bye.